Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you everything that you need to know about Wellens syndrome. It is very common to see in the emergency department and it is very easy to recognize. There are essentially some ECG findings that occur in the lead V2 and V3 that are suspicious of some coronary artery stenosis. These can be precursors to myocardial infarction. So early recognition is very important. Simply look at the lead V2 and V3 and you should see a biphasic T wave or deeply inverted T wave. Normally, the T wave should be going up, but if it's going down and especially in a sharp pattern, this is known as a deeply inverted T wave. And if you see this pattern in these leads, think of coronary artery stenosis. The most common cause is an occlusion of the left anterior descending coronary artery. This occlusion can be temporary or permanent. For most patients, it is completely asymptomatic, although you might have some elevated cardiac enzymes. Like any case with coronary artery occlusion, you need to alleviate this occlusion. So the treatment involves cardiac stenting or bypass grafts. We simply want to allow as much blood going to the heart muscles as possible. And like we said, this is very important to recognize early because it can be a sign of anterior myocardial infarction. Our ECG course contains all the changes that can occur in an ECG and it helps you become an ECG expert so that you can recognize any ECG that you might come across. The course contains everything that might affect an ECG, all the symptoms, the causes, and of course the treatments. It also has plenty of quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure that you cement these informations and be able to answer any question about an ECG. You can access the course using the link in the description or in the pinned comment.